So when you're bathing at home, it's really important to have everything at the ready. I've got my mixing bottles for my dilution and Lolly actually has itchy skin. So I'm using the Pro Groom um, Coat Care on her and hopefully that's gonna relieve some of her itchiness. It's a really gentle, mild shampoo that I can use um, and I know it works really well for her. Her skin responds to it. So I'm gonna dilute this. I'm gonna actually look at the dilution bottle here. I'm not gonna put terribly much in, but here I've got one, one to 20. And I think that that's probably about as much as I'm going to need. So I'm gonna fill the rest up with water and I'm just gonna put the top layer, about that much of shampoo in, shake it up and then I'm ready for, for washing. I've got my chamois here. And if you're using a chamois, a new chamois for the first time, I'll open him up. Sometimes when you get them out, they're rock hard. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually going to soak the chamois in my side sink while I'm washing Lolly to soften it and to also get some of the color out. If you've got a white dog and you've got a brightly colored chamois, you may run into trouble in the first time you use it because it might actually color your dog, might stain your dog. So I'm gonna be soaking that. What I've got in my sink here is I've got my little bath mat in here and that's to help Lolly uh, purchase on a really slippery, shiny surface. I've got my little, uh, suction cup here at the ready and I've got my noose and sometimes you can either put the noose around the neck or in Lolly's case I'm going to put it around one of her shoulders under her belly and around that way just to secure her in the bath. You really do have to have your dog secured in the bath. This tap here has an extension to it. I'm really lucky and it really helps me wash um, into those little areas that, uh, that I, it's very hard to get into. If you don't have that, a little bowl, something like that, that you can pour into and catch with your hand and work your way around is just as good. And I've also got my towel and I'm ready to go. So everything that I need for my bath is just here. The only thing that you might want to put in at home is a little bit of cotton wool in your dog's ears to stop the water going in from, to the ears if you're a novice bather.